who likes to destabilize that region is trying to destabilize that region Hunter. again. America, Israel, Iran, one of those three. And how many people died? Uh, last time I checked, they knew for sure 80, because those 80 people... Was that like 2,500 people in here yeah. or something stupid? I mean, they, if you look at the explosion radius, yeah. Yeah. The whole city, like, yeah. as soon as... I, I, we I was watching the nightly news, and they were like, explosion in Beirut. And I was like, yeah, Beirut, I was like, oh, it's just, you know, more fucking Hezbollah rockets or something. And I just happened to look up at the TV and just saw... <laughs> And you're like, uh, I'm sorry? Nuke. That was my first thought. I was like, that's a nuke. Did they say how this happened? They still don't know. Uh, someone said a Russian boat crashed into the factory. Someone said it was a lit cigarette that they flicked into the building, not thinking. Yeah. There's all these different stories. If a fucking lit cigarette caused that. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Lit cigarettes have done a lot fucking worse, and you know that. Remember the Hindenburg? Dude. The, <laughs> the one thing that the Nazis were like, wow, we're really proud of this. But we painted it in super fucking flammable material. Because uh, ah. uh, 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 the United States wouldn't sell them helium, so they're like, we'll just use hydrogen. Yeah, they filled it with hydrogen, and, and the work. outside was painted in basically yep. uh, silver, metallic, reflective. Oh, what else was it? I think uh, it was just no. What's the shit? Down. What's the shit that burns super hot? Thermite. Yeah. It was like thermite and silver nitrate, like painted on it. Do you so guys know what else is like a flaming pile of shit? You Welcome do. to Just Your Average Podcast. You just see you. You. I'm your Chad. Your house. This is Chris. Family. That's drunk Chris. That's bitch. Chris. Drunk Chris. Drunk Chris. We had to differentiate it. And hey, this house is a piece of shit. Well, <laughs> do we want to talk about the crack in your foundation, or do you want to leave that for another episode? What about that weird puddle? Is there a puddle? Yeah, the puddle of brown liquid that comes out from underneath the air conditioner over there. That's not an air conditioner. It's a, it's a dehumidifier. Well, you gotta empty it once in a while. It's not even full. I do empty it, yes. And I don't know where that jerk came from. Wait, what? <laughs> it's not there anymore. Allegedly. It was never there to begin with. <laughs> it was in your imagination. How do you think that explosion happened? Israel. Speaking of Israel, did awesome. you have to do too much shit. Seth Rogen comments, Chris? Yeah, did you hear what Seth Rogen said? About what? Israel. Oh, fuck. He said Israel isn't good for Jews. And then he also said, I'm scared of Israel. And it's just like, what are you getting at, Seth? It's like, like then don't <laughs> talk about Israel. Are you, are you high? Or are you, like, giving uh, us that moment of, like, did you, where? No, if you look totally sober in that interview. Yeah. I mean, probably like, probably after how much pot he smoked, he's <laughs> yeah. probably impervious to it. Yeah. I don't doubt that Wasn't under he any circumstances. Dog's personal blunt roller for a little bit. Yeah, and then he got a better guy. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and use Firefox, not Chrome. Firefox is better. Yeah. He's just gonna be lazy and keep using. Chrome. I use Chrome because I use Gmail, and it's just one click. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know? I agree with that, but, but I prefer Firefox. I I install Firefox on other people's computers. I install <laughs> Firefox on my phone, so I'm like, hey. Yeah. Now Facebook isn't looking at me all of the time, only right. some of the time. You gotta put that little sticker over your fucking camera. Yeah. I'm not worried. If they want to see me ugly, cry, and jerk off, let them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if that's the case, I want to see the Zuck doing the same thing. It's not fair. It should be a two-way street, you know? I mean, it should be. I'm but sure there's a way you could see Zuck doing something. I would rarely not. I don't want to see Dude, him crawl out of his li lizard suit. Did you see the government, like, put all of them on trial? Like, the CEO for Google, uh, Twitter, and yep. Facebook on, like, spying and political bias and, like, just fucking with the government and people's ideas? And then they went, we have too much money, you can't put us on trial. And the government went, okay. What do you think would happen if Facebook ever shut down? The world would be a better place. Absolutely. It's like with Trump being like, I want part of the deal for us buying TikTok. It's like, that's not how it works. I say go for it. It's not going to work, though. I mean, China owns it, and they're part of the government, and it's part of the, you know. Yeah, but that's a weird commie dictatorship where they're yeah, killing but... people in thousands behind closed doors. Yeah. But I mean, America's doing the same thing. But we're better because we're now, capital. TikTok is suing the Trump administration. <laughs> um, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Add him to the list of failures. <laughs> How many people have tried to take him down? He just can't stop winning. You Give can't up. stop cancer. Now, can we talk about how a Chinese like spy program sneakily got into like all American pockets? Not sneakily. What the fuck are you talking about? There's this about? man named Bill Clinton, and he really loved Chinese money. <laughs> <laughs> and he also loved Jewish girls he who really were bad at giving blowjobs. Really loved Chinese money. So he did all these things where he <laughs> let China just dip their fingers into all our industries and yeah. like, drain us dry. Well, it's like fucking hot. And then this guy, this guy Bush, he really loved Chinese money too. And he did the same thing. And then there was this guy, Obama, 
And he really, really, really loved Chinese money. Obama didn't like Chinese money. I mean, he knew how far of a deficit we, and we were in. <laughs> and what are you going to do? Are you going to go to China or are you going to go to India? Uh, I will say. China I, makes all our shit. India? If TikTok goes yeah. down, I will be happy because I'm so sick of these fucking. Why? Who cares? I only so use annoying. TikTok to see, like. For Drinking lack of girls. no, for lack of a better word, <laughs> mentally challenged people trying to interact with regular people via the internet. Yeah, it's, it's fucking it's an event. insane the shit you can find on like shirtless fat people being like, "Hey, Michael, stop calling me a fucker. You're a fucker. Juggalo's out." And you're like, "Who's Michael? Why the are you fact, calling him the a fact that Juggalo put a shirt on? <laughs> is, the, the Juggalos are still a fucking like t- thing that you can t- hear about. That's a problem. TikTok Juggalo." And then just look for the shirtless fat guys. I, They're I the will best never video. install TikTok. Uh, ever. I is, never installed Vine either. This one uh, juggalo who got the face, the clown face paint, like permanently tattooed on his face. Oh, I've seen that. And he's doing like a vlog about getting it taken off. And I was like watching one and it was like really like fading. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's dude that like lost his family and everything. Yeah, lost his job, lost his family. Yeah, and, that's because he was no, a real shoot. No, but anyway. What would, well, imagine he was coming home and be like, honey, look what I did. It's like. <laughs> Honey, I got really good meth and made a really good decision. <laughs> <laughs> what was the, is the good decision? Meth? Tell me it was meth. Tell me that's hate meth. and you're doing meth. We can fix the meth. But anyway, I saw him recently <laughs> and like the tattoos were really faded and I was like, that's good for you, man. In another couple of weeks, they'll be gone. And he was like, so I'm a year into it. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, that's oh. only a year? Dude, yeah, it, it takes a while. It's the next decade, man. Yeah. Do you know my tattoo, what it is? They said it's going to take like six sessions. It's like 200 bucks Wait, a session. To get what, removed? What are you getting rid of? My tattoo. He's, Which one? The swastika. He got on his mouth. It's not a swastika. I was about to say. <laughs> Dude, I believed him for a second. What is it, dumbass? You ever seen it? It's just really bad. What the fuck is it? Anarchy, bro. You're an idiot. Yeah. I was 18, and I was way into punk. It's not as bad as Kyle's, where it's supposed to be two drumsticks, and it looks like... 669. It looks like 69 <laughs> made out of boat oars. It's so <laughs> shitty. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I don't have a tattoo. That's why Look, I don't if, if you're tattoo gonna, in West if you're yeah. gonna get a tattoo, spend money. On be it. 21 and spend over 40 dollars on it. Over f- fuck no. that. How much did you spend on your tattoo? Like 300 bucks. Yeah, on that one minimum. It's a big tattoo. Yes, yeah, fucking dumpster fire. Eh. It's actually not that bad. Well done. It's not. Although the problem is, the guy who did my tattoo. They closed down because he was getting tattoos to girls, underage girls for sex. Well, I mean, who doesn't do that? <laughs> Look, then, I spent like eighty bucks on this because yeah, of how small it is. Yeah, but that's, that's mad basic. How long did that take? That's just pixel took, art. Like, Forty minutes. That's yeah, like an intricate hours. drawing. I'm saying but like, it's not a good it's a, drawing. It is a good drawing. It's a good drawing. It's All right, that's the technique a, is fine. The, yeah, the technique is great. It's a well done. It's, it's trash. It's a well done shitty tattoo. There we go. It isn't even finished yet. <laughs> why? Why not get a cover up then? You should get because it's too dark. You're gonna get. I gotta fade a little bit. You should get a gorilla fighting a shark tattooed on your back. I'm gonna get a Dragon Ball Z sleeve. Oh, no. Isn't that cool? I already decided I'm getting all seven Dragon Balls around my arm next. Hey, Riley. <laughs> Just to fuck with you. Hey, Riley, I'm here to pick you up from school. It's me, your dad, with the gay anime yeah, tattoos. Yeah. I'm just going to get the one where it's like the arm going up. It's like Goku there. And I'm like, I'm like Goku shooting a gun. Look, that's dumb. Look, Riley, I'm spirit joking. bomb. Spirit you bomb, Riley. Up? No. I've seen the ones that are like one uh You ever saw the character like all right here and there? They go like I saw like one piece where it's Luffy and it, like the hand yeah. extends, but like... That yes. makes sense. Do you see the one where it's Brian Griffin and it says R.I.P.? Yeah. It's like, you idiot. Wow. It's like, that lasted three episodes. <laughs> or the one of Donald Trump sucking a dick and it's like, that's on your body for the rest of your life because you were mad at <laughs> Yeah, but he probably did it. You got mad at a president, so you tattooed your body. The what about the people in Russia that Domino's promised if you get their logo tattooed on, you can get free pizza for life, then the place you promised like the actual dominoes closed down like a year later yeah. see but that's a funny story <laughs> that's a ha some story. of them were funny though some of them actually had like ninja turtles tattoos with like the dominoes pizza and stuff yeah like that's fine i guess i still would never tattoo a cartoon corporation or a corporation yeah. on my body yeah i'm gonna put ta- cartoons everywhere unless amazon was like we'll give you a million dollars every year if you tattoo amazon or if jack yeah. bezos was like i'll give you a half of everything i own right now you'd be like Dude, I'll put it on my dick. Yeah, it's just like a million dollars. I'm just gonna buy that concealer. No, no, no. It has to be on display, and I have to tell people, <laughs> "Hey, guys, Amazon." Every time, dude, I... the amount of publicity <laughs> that would get, like, right? come on. They... It's like the dude who got Volkswagen tattooed on his penis, and they gave him a beetle, like the a fucking, brand new bug. The fucking 
That would be anti or defamation league would like start suing yeah. Amazon. And they'd be like, you can't do that. And I'd be like, no, I'm fine. Like, it's like, yeah, I'm just a billboard. Do you see my house? Like, <laughs> that's awesome. You saw the pain on your penis getting the tattoo there. Well, if I'm gonna be back, because who's if, gonna see it when the one? If I'm oh, getting, you're probably not sleeping. We much. shit. It's fine. Yeah. I'll tattoo Amazon on my dick on both sides. I want to get a tattoo of a squirrel running up one leg and then with a nut in his mouth running down the other. <laughs> He's Lance Armstrong, everybody. <laughs> oh, guys. Let's flip over some papers. Oh, God. I don't really don't want to. That yet. I'm doing it now. No. I mean, if it's his thing. Yep. Black you pause. I wrote... You're gonna... I fucking we need to get that away from him. He's like a kid. <laughs> so I wrote a script, guys. It's called Squids. I thought we were done with this. Oh, God. <laughs> I already saw, like, a third down the don't page, read, and I'm just, just like, what the fuck? It. So it stars Chris as the captain, Chad as the ensign, and drunk Chris as a Navy officer. Oh. The movie opens with a small ship, a, a small ship adrift in fog at night. A man is hanging off the port bow. Someone another, else has to write these. Another, much plumper one, walks up behind him. <laughs> I don't want to read this God. so badly. Oh, it's good. No, I physically... <laughs> come, on, come on, Chris. No, there's got to be something in this for me. <laughs> there is. You're the main... You're yeah, the main. no, I know I'm the main character, but I also saw the bottom of the page. And I'm not dumb. Just read it. Chad hasn't even gotten there yet. No, I'm with him. <laughs> just read it. Just come on. Just read it. Uh, it's not suspense, it's disappointment. Come on, read it. It's great. <laughs> Someone else has to read this. <laughs> Someone else has to write these next time. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, feel free to write your own scripts. But... I, I'm not going to. I'm All just right. not going to read these anymore. Just read, read it, come on. Uh, can't believe we run out of fuel in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. I'm not drunk enough for this. I know, it's fucking insane. How could we have been so stupid? I didn't know any better. I think you did this on purpose. I know, it's fucking insane. How could we have been so stupid? Can I read that again? What do you mean? Chris turns to face Chad. <laughs> what do you mean? No, no, you're you're Chris, not Chad, so... I... Oh, alright. I see the way you look at me. Chad blushes. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, we were you're so dense! So like, dumb. you didn't even pay attention to the paper! You were no, just, just like... like oh, 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 no, I'm just, just thinking go, just of go. where it's going. Just go. You don't just have go. to think about just go. it. We've been adrift for so long. That changes nothing. You have kids and a wife. They're at home on dry land. Chad grabs Chris's hands. <laughs> and you're here with me. <laughs> if, if this were really going to happen, it would definitely be you instead of Chad, because you look yeah. the most like a woman. Yeah, I'll go for that. <laughs> God damn <it. laughs> uh, I can't do this, Chad. I can't deny my feelings anymore. Then kiss me, fool. <laughs> Chad and Chris kiss long and hard. It's fucking hot. It's so hard for me not to use my one punch. It's just like right now, ruined your kidney. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, Remember, you're out of breath. Your kids? I've already forgotten their faces. Chad slides his hands down Chris's pants. You did, you'd be disappointed. <laughs> oh, hey there, sailor. Just then, a foghorn pierces the dark. A voice comes over the radio. Attention, vessel. Please move out of our way. Fuck you. Kisses Chad. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. You move, bitch. <laughs> I'm a Navy officer. Move or else. I'm trying to get laid here. Oh, you don't have to try anymore, big boy. <laughs> this is your last morning. Move or else. I'm never, ever moving. Not ever. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm gay for Chris. <laughs> As the words gay leave Chad's lips, their small vessel is smashed against the rocky shore. The fog lifts, and in its place is a tall lighthouse. Cut to Chris, in the, drunk Chris in the lighthouse. Tis sad. Tis a I sad, wish that mirror shattered. Tis a sad sight when love blinds us to everything, even love. How did you not, like, even look a quarter of the way down the page, like, glance at it? Come on! I know you have fog brain, but, like, holy shit. That was this, a... this screamed gay as soon as he flipped it down onto the table, and I was like, what is this? And he's like, don't look at it, and I'm like, fuck. It was a good one. Dude, I can... He's thinking about us when he's at home. I was... <laughs> he's probably jerking off while doing So I sent too. Chad a text, and I was like, are we filming? And then I went, filming, filming, and then just... <laughs> and just typed this in, like, two seconds. <laughs> 
Uh, just your average erotica. <laughs> That's gonna be the new show. Just Only on Pornhub. Oh, we should encourage fanfic. <laughs> no, just make a Pornhub. Whoever show. makes the first fanfic gets a free T-shirt. I will yeah. pay for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Matt, I'm talking to Has you. Max up make shirt some... yet? I don't give a fuck. You getting it enough? AJ, make a fanfic. No, did, I will. Did yeah, you send him a shirt? Uh, no, it got sent back to me because apparently I still don't know where he lives. I'll forget first. <laughs> I know I have. It's fine. Look, he got a shirt anyways, it's fine. I called it. He bought it. That was supposed to be his free shirt. He called it yeah, Squids. Yeah, it's the beta one. What? Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> He's like, Squids! I don't know. I was going to have it like you guys get eaten by squids or like have sex with squids. As I, I would have preferred it. the sex with squids. But then I just thought of the idea of Chris being like, but you're kids. And Chad being like, I don't remember what they look like anymore. And then just... You definitely made him like. Is that what making love looks like? To me, yeah. <laughs> the, the, like the Mexican novella, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drama queen. But hey, I have to have a serious moment. <laughs> you really want to first, per right? first person who writes fan fiction is getting a free fucking t shirt. Agreed. I need to put I, a PSA out. We will all pay for it. This is actually a serious PSA. Oh, so no. God. The other day, I was delivering a package. And I was walking up to the door, and all of a sudden, this lady comes walking up from the street with her dog. I guess she was walking it. So I'm like, oh, hey, how's it going? I go to hand her the package. She just goes like this, points her finger, and I'm like, okay. what? And she just goes like this again. So I'm like, okay, so I guess I'm going to bring your package to the door. She's like, you don't have to bring it to the door. And I'm like, just put it down. And I'm like, okay, bye, have a good day. And she didn't even say anything to me. Okay. My point is... How different is that from delivering pizzas? Yeah. No. My point is... No. Should, it's, there's, there's no... There's you should absolutely wear a shirt no difference. when you deliver packages. <laughs> like over the Amazon shit. This whole coronavirus <laughs> I thing that now. is getting people to forget how to talk to people. No, it's not. People. No, it's... It's it, old people who think they She are, wasn't old. She was like probably no, 40. No one... That's no, old enough. Old people are the ones going... No, old people are nice. They don't give a fuck no. about this corona thing. Though. That's because they're going to die. Yeah, most of the old people are like, How's it going? <laughs> Six feet. And I'm like, yeah. ah, here you go. It's all the young dumb fucks that are like listen this is the new normal we're not allowed to have fun anymore we have to wear gags they also it's say karen. yeah not karen it's fucking i did have a new what's a what's a cheyenne or something like a liberal ass <laughs> motherfucking kid you know like i don't a, think it's that because like that takes it in such an odd they're the only people who have ever confronted me when i go into stores old people don't give a fuck shop owners don't give a fuck but some college kid will go uh mask it's about we not you and then it's like ah uh, man my doctor says i can't <laughs> i get a lung disease <laughs> You know, just to, I tell them I get COPD. Yeah, I know. You love to hate people. You I tell, love to fucking I tell hate them people. I have early onset COPD, and if that's the case, <laughs> I should 100% be wearing a mask because Corona <laughs> will kill me. But since they don't actually know anything about the disease, when I'm like, oh, I get COPD, they're like, okay, that makes sense. You shouldn't wear a mask. <laughs> and it's like, you're right. I shouldn't. Dumbass. Ah, fucking fucking I just, I, I honestly just don't get, like, I've seen the transition. I've worked doing this from like before a while before this happened into the whole virus thing and the transition of people just becoming shittier and shittier is just getting ridiculous again it's 40 year old women who think that they own the world and want their kids to grow up on a gluten free not a uh, non-dairy uh violence free meal so that is homegrown and raised liberal ass college kids people no. that no yes. people that say gluten free food tastes good are just in denial huh people that say gluten free food but if you say gluten-free food tastes good, talk to someone who has a gluten intolerance and then ask them to taste a pizza. They'll tell you that the did, pizza with gluten Did I work with you that time when we had like the gluten-free pizza and this like really douchey Probably guy was with his parents and they're eating? He's like, I feel bad for people. I can't eat this pizza. And talk about how like, it costs a little bit more money. It doesn't cost a little bit more money. It costs a lot more money. <laughs> but he was being it's like, like shitty all about it, being like, I feel bad for people that can't afford gluten-free food like this. You ever shop at Dave's? <laughs> That's yeah. the entire crowd. Yeah. No, I, uh, I wouldn't say Dave's. I'd say Whole Foods. Trader yeah. Joe's, bro. Uh, Joe's, I like Aldi's. I've never been to Aldi's. It's good. The, the, the food is lying. What? <laughs> food lying down south. All right. Well, look, you go live with the redneck <laughs> hillbillies, and I did have a guy deliver the package yesterday. I walked outside to go get it, and I was walking up to him. He puts his mask on. He's like. I can't have you come any forward, any more forward. And I'm like, I can't have you come forward any more forward. So I'm like, he definitely spoke in real English, not Chad. Not Chad. 
Uh, Look, I love you, but like, no, you got an English, dude. Dude, I'm such a migrant. I'm tired. Let me walk. Join the club. I'm still here. Like Bob Lazar. <laughs> so, he, right when I walk up to him, I see him rush with the mask on, and I go to grab the pack. She's like, "You can't come anymore forward." Hate you. So I'm so like, bitch. "What are we gonna do?" Uh, and he's like, uh, "What do you want me to do with the pack?" So I'm like, "Just put it on the ground." Like, put it in my hand. I had uh, an Amazon driver say he hand like I was waiting for a package, and it was supposed to come at like 9 p.m. for some fucking reason. Weird. Yeah. So then I checked my phone. They're like, your package has been delivered. And it's like 7.30. And I was like, what? So I click it. And it was like, uh, driver said he handed it to you. And I was like. That's when you're like, I'm no, sorry. It's honestly just the lazy people that don't want to take a picture. I understand. But it's like, yo, it's 7.30. I walked my entire driveway. I walked like. Because one time they put a package under Robbie's car. We don't know why. They also said that they hand delivered it to Robbie. See, at, at that point, like, if you're gonna hide it, I get yeah. it. Because people are fucking dickheads and steal shit. Like, you don't need to in his house because, like, you have the trees. You have like the whole. He house. also but like I has had, a cop for a fall. Yeah, so. I got I got the one camera on the ring, the one camera in the corner, and the other one by the tree. So like, we the, if the package try gets... to break into his house, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking. Or Knox. Just left it yeah. on. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> Come on down to Chris's Emporium. Want to get shot? This is your chance. <laughs> Dude, he... Andrew LaValle just bought a, a Mini for, uh, F-14. And he's been hitting up Bob for like, I need ammo and training. <laughs> I'm sorry, Why would LaValle buy a gun? Because he's scared. Of what? <laughs> of the fucking race riots and We shit. live in Rhode Island. It'll what race riots? Everyone says that until it shows up. Yeah, but I don't think anybody would actually attack LaValle. No, but they might attack his house. Yeah. He lives in Warwick. Warwick is, like, on the edge of Providence. And Providence is... Providence. Branson's on the edge of Providence. Listen, so Warwick. Warwick. I live in the suburbs. Uh, I'm okay. I don't, I'm safe, but... Like, I'm in East Providence. Well, they're all Portuguese. They're just like, eh, wine and fish. Yeah, yeah. Portuguese people, if the race riot starts, they're like, ah, we, we're banding together. We got our names. It's like, yeah, we were used to this way back when. Dude, delivering Irish... Providence in East Providence is hilarious. Cause all you have is them with their loud-ass speakers in the backyard. That yeah, is called awesome. Spanish people in Providence. I love it. Though. The Portuguese are just on their front porch drinking their homemade wine, getting drunk it and It doesn't juices. matter what time it is during the day. They're, like, there are people always drinking in Providence. Too. Yeah. It'll be like probably ten o'clock, and they'll be like, "Oh, hey, how's it going?" And they'll be like, "Hi, I wish I hey, was you." Right you now. don't know when their work day ended. <laughs> That's the way I do it. Like, you don't know if that guy just got off a shift and have so he's having a beer at nine a.m. He probably just worked eight hours. Yeah. Or he's an alcoholic, and you can usually tell. Yeah. Or it's just I know I'm looking at one drinking. There was cigarette. this guy that I used to work with named Bob, and uh, you're dead. No. <laughs> uh, this this you get fired. Well, yeah, old Bob got fired. <laughs> Because uh, one time he showed up, like me and Jake were early, or not early, we were on time. And Bob, early for him. Yeah, well, Bob was already there, so me and Jake are standing by in our cars like, how long is it going to take him to come over here? Because like, we have a little meeting before we start. And he opens his door and he pours like the last sip of a Bud Light out. And we're like, already, man? And he comes stumbling up and he's like, hey, what's it? And it was just like, Jesus. This but, guy's scary, brother. Yeah, he scared me too. One time him and Barry were like, I was sitting in my car, and they're like, you gotta come see this. And I was like, oh, God, no, because I could just smell gin on them. Like, they were soaked in gin. That's the worst smell. I know, somebody. and it's the most obvious one, too. Yeah. So they're like, come here, come here. And they take me, like, way back behind the Bentley building, and I'm like, oh, shit, here it comes. You know, like, they're going to molest they're me. They're going to kill me or rape me. I'm prepared to die fighting. <laughs> this job would be the worst, too. Especially in the not, sun. <laughs> that, and you cannot pay attention. You're supposed yeah. to be paying attention to find damage. You're supposed to find shit like this. If you're small. buzzed, you're going to be like, yeah. Dude, I find it hard stoned. All right, like I find it hard sober sometimes. Yeah, but anyway, so they take me to the back, and they and then they open up a Bentley, and I was like, "Where the fuck is this going?" And they're like, "Watch!" And they turn the Bentley on, and the little screen turns on, and they're like, "They got TVs and cars now," and it was like, "Oh no way!" You know, like <laughs> they're like, "Wow, you're fuck. not smart." Let's get away from the four hundred thousand dollar car, you drunk motherfucker. <laughs> like the car you're probably gonna ruin if you puke in it. Yeah, we talk about if you look closely at a Bentley. It's just... Quality. It's just a nice Touareg. It's like the inside's nice. We say this every time we talk about Bentley. We Touring talk about the aluminum rims, the plastic right. grill. Audis, man. The amazing leather seats. But Audis and their younger cousin Volkswagen. Volkswagen, depending. Yeah. If you the get Jettas the, are pretty nice. If you get the twelve thousand Jetta, it's a piece of shit. But if you get the twenty two thousand Jetta, it's really nice. Yeah. Because then it's just a cheap Audi, and if that's the case, just get an A five. You know what's a good car? Five grand more. You know. You know what's a good car? Twenty thirteen Honda Civic. I heard they melt. 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, they're, they're pretty fun. I still trash. have to go to Honda for that. What? My car melting. Yeah, have you like seen you the never, side I've of the car? my car before. The, the mm-hmm. mirror and one the time door. at Geno's in Cranston, you know, you could park all the way to. The, if you're That's why you don't the, buy a black car. If you're looking at the building all the way to the left, you park right there. Uh huh. I parked there, and there was a truck, I guess, parked next to it. So I think it really reflected the sun so bad it on my car. It melted, like, his mirror and So shit. Jay comes up to me, she's, he's like, what happened to your car, man? I'm like, what are you talking about? So I go outside, and it's all melted, and I'm like, god damn, I'm this. Yo. Someone, Dude, the new Civics are nice. Someone fucking oh. rammed Danny's car. The new one? Yeah. Like, caved in his passenger side. That's why you like, got insurance. Be- between the door and the quarter panel. Wow, so not even in like a convenient yeah, like, spot the you can fix. Post. Yeah. He was like, I'm going to go home and like maybe if I just... Was it those shitty neighbors? We don't know. Because Danny spent three days in his house just getting high and drunk and then he went to go get beer and he walked out and his car was fucked and he was like, this could have happened on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. God damn it. <laughs> and it, it looks like, because he says there's like work, uh, lawn care people, it looks like a ball bearing on the back of a truck like for a trailer hitch. And it looks like they were just backing up the truck or maybe it like slipped into neutral or something and yeah. just slid down and boom, because it's like a ball and then a huge dent. And I told them to go around to all the cars in the area and check them for damages. Do you think he did that? Or yeah. not? Oh, you, oh don't he know, did? you don't know oh, Danny. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you don't what know do you Danny. Get? He has a little uh, Volkswagen Golf, like a 20... Oh, fuck the Golf. Those things are ugly. Hey, he, it's a second one. He, he likes them. He likes them and he tricks he them out. He has a steering wheel for it. He has his own personal steering wheel that he switches between cars that he drives. Oh, excuse me. He's I feel like that's the only reason why he bought the golf again. Yeah, so he could switch I, the wheel I was out. delivering in Connecticut, and there was somebody who was selling one, and I'm like, I should probably text Dan. Tell Dan <laughs> go. He put a subwoofer in it, and it's so fucking funny, because he'll, he'll roll up in his little, like, blue golf, and then he'll be like, hey, guys, and we'll be like, what's up, Dan? And before we can finish it, it's just blasting, like, his oh crappy glass beat. Metal. Subwoofers are the worst because ninety percent, probably ninety five percent of them sound like shit, and the people aren't listening to the right music. Uh, you gotta oh listen to God. hardcore nineties gangster rap or like A heavy duty metal, like doom metal. Somebody yeah. in the Amazon bands keeps turning the bass all the way down, the treble like on negative oh. half. Is Andrew driving? My older brother does. My older brother is like, no, we gotta turn the bass down and the treble up, and it's like, you need oh, what? But, but the treble like. Um, the treble, the treble, like, it's it's eight six three. I eight like bass, doing the treble probably seventy five percent. The bass probably like sixty percent. Nicole has the bass turned up all the way in her car, so I get in, turn my music on, and it <laughs> dude, it's the <laughs> fucking worst because I'm like I can't hear I s- myself fart. <laughs> I still want to hear the guitar, so I don't turn the bass all the way. Oh, yeah. But I want to hear that bass guitar because if there's a bass guitarist who's like really groovy, they usually get buried in the mix. In your basement. Fucking toasty, and I hate it. Yeah, it's, it's really not hot. Not that bad down here. What? Where's the air conditioners? I was promised air conditioners. We don't have a budget for that. <laughs> Speaking of budget, when am I getting paid? Uh, uh get on your knees. Oof. Get us to a thousand subs and all that. Oh, stuff. shut the fuck up. Do my best. <laughs> we're at, a, we're at like a hundred and eighty-six right now. I got us the Iranian viewership, all right? <laughs> Surprised you haven't gotten us the Nazi viewership. Uh, they're probably out there. They're probably watching in secret. Yeah. The VPNs and stuff. <laughs> no, I can stay with that. Dude, we're huge in Thailand. <laughs> South Korea, man. South Korea, man. We have South Korea. South Korea. <laughs> yeah, it's probably yeah, like Kim Jong un watches. Like, oh, these people, they're funny. Dude, I'd be stoked if the dictator of North Korea liked us. I wouldn't. I'd go hang out. I'd go hang out, slip him poison, and walk but away. But I would him. make it a huge media sensation that I'm going. That way he couldn't kill me. Now, you think if you actually kill it's like him, Dennis Rodman. That's exactly. Yeah. Dennis Rodman got invited, and he was like, well, I can't say no. He's I'm like, uh, a spectacle. Yeah. That way, I'm no, safe. But, do you think if you actually successfully kill him, the people would attack you, or they'd be like... Yeah. Dude, yeah, no, all no, the, the high military you. leaders would. You know, Their they're... lives are fucking set. You gotta, yeah. you gotta it's the that, normal people. You gotta watch that documentary about the uh, ophthalmologists who go there to clean cataracts in people's eyes. Yeah. And uh, after they fix everyone's eyes, everyone gets on their hands and knees and cries to a portrait of Kim Jong-il Dude, saying, thank you, thank you for saving us from blindness. And all the doctors are like, I thought it was us. Whatever. It's like, I thought we were the ones who just spent 12 hours and, doing this for And then free. the lady was like, I don't know who's faking it and who's being real. And that's the scary part. Dude, yeah, like, because you, like, you know you have to fake it. Because if you're not crying and someone sees you not crying, go up. Yeah, your you whole, know? the next three generations. Want to know why the grass is so short in North Korea? 
They have people going around with rulers making sure all yeah. the grass is two inches high. That's a job. So, now that's punishment. That's your prison sentence for the rest of your life. Job. You keep grass two inches high. And there's only 16 haircuts. Can we talk about this? What job is too harsh for a prisoner to do? No job. They're prisoners. They don't have rights. Look, all right. If you, I agree with him on that. If, if, if when it comes to like selling drugs, that's a different story. Like you caught, got caught selling weed. You got caught having weed on you. No. But if you're caught selling fentanyl, no, no. We but break your knees. The way Bob explained it is, if you're going to jail for selling weed, it's kind of like doing like Rico with mob bosses. Like they can't get you for murder, so they get you for tax fraud. They can't get you for breaking and entering, but you get a gram of weed on you, and that's illegal. So yeah. fuck you. Do we think about all the people still in jail? For I, crimes and that's like being legalized across the country i'd be pretty pissed but at the same time like hey man it was illegal when you did it you could have just waited a year and then it was legal you know what i mean it's it's all like but there are still plenty of places where it's not legal. if you're a criminal it's because you're stupid no smart person really commits crime because a smart person realizes hey jail ain't worth it no matter how much money I could make. I mean, the, the free health insurance isn't too bad. Jail is never worth it. Especially for fucking out of shape white people like us. Someone will fight you. You'll show up like... Yeah, because I'm a big guy. Exactly. Everyone's you're like, fucked. oh, I'm gonna fight you. You're fucked. I'm getting fucked. You know what I'm saying? Like, jail is... Preferred Chris, by one of us. Chris will be holding on to pockets. No. <laughs> You'd be like, uh, so... I don't have soap. I didn't drop it. No. I, I told you... Did I tell you my plan? I'm gonna go in and be like, I used to eat glass for the circus, and some of it is stuck inside my colon. So <laughs> go for it. There's know? gonna be that one I creepy dude who's like, I want no, a piece that, of that glass on my like, penis. One guy, guy, my dick's small enough. For no, one guy's <laughs> gonna go bullshit, and then it's gonna be like, fuck. He's gonna be like, ah, uh, you can find out. out. He's gonna walk up to you undo his pants, like, I call your bluff. And then like, <laughs> All right, bro, if you really want to risk it. <laughs> shit's all over. That's what I would pray to God. God, please put the glass inside my ass. Chris constantly drinks milk all day. Yeah. And just so he shits all the time. Dude, they'd be, they'd be happy about that. It's free lube. You don't, no. have, to, you don't have to bring Vaseline into a it's shower. Stomach acid. They, they, they don't. They just... I don't even think Actually, I was listening to a comedian tell a story about being in jail, and he was in the library, and he turned the corner, and these two dudes were holding one guy down, and one guy was fucking him in the ass. And he was like, hey, do you want this? And he was like, no, I'm good. And they were like... No, it's cool. Uh, he ain't white, so we use lube this time. And the guy was like, mm, I'm good, thanks. What? Yeah, <laughs> prison, dude. Don't go to prison. You watch that show 60 Days In, right? No. Watch it, dude. Like, I have other things to watch. There's people that go in there and they're like, man, prison can't be that bad. And then three days in, they're like, yo, there's like racism and rape and shit. I gotta get the fuck it's out like of here. It's like there are three different cults and yeah, they're all like, crazy. Everybody's trying to kill everybody. Chris, it's our cult. Well. Yeah, I know. He wouldn't start a cult. The cult would literally just follow him. I've had stalkers in the past. Yeah, we've talked about this. It's kind of weird. Uh, what's the word? I'm beguiling. I've had one girl kind of. Well, I dated her for a bit and she wasn't too happy. Dude, never. Girl. Never, thank God. I've just had weird cheaters. I had two girls and an old man. <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> At the same time? No. Because that's a weird form. No, was the old man flattering? It was just creepy. It was creepy flattering. Like, not Herbert the Pervert. Like, oh, thanks, but no thanks. It was, well, when I told him, I'm like, hey man, not gay, and I'm in a relationship, he was like, I'm very happy for you and your boyfriend. And then it's like, hold so on. Don't assume things. Hold on. I just told you I'm not gay. Like, hold up a second. And then he started, he sent me this fucking, like, 12 paragraph story about, like. How you changed his life or something? Yeah. Yeah, I and, remember this. And then, and then he told me a story about. No, 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 no. I stopped ordering from Dominic. Look, I definitely <laughs> think Chris has higher standards than that. Wait, you should open the door next time with nothing but a t-shirt on. And I was like, oh my fucking God. It's like, I'll open the door with a shotgun? I went to my parents. That's how fucking creeped out I was about this dude. I was like, I need help with this situation. I need an adult. And they are like, nah, you're your own adult. And then he knew my aunt who died of cancer. But no one knew that she had died of cancer yet. And then he said, I'm sorry, your aunt died of cancer. And it's like, how? You're like, I'm sorry? How do you know that? <laughs> His best friends. Maybe. He saw a picture of you in our house. Who's that little boy? Who's that girl with long hair? <laughs> Who's that She's girl? a cute blonde. Who's that girl with stubble? <laughs> I like the way his hair bounces. Have like, you ever oh. felt stubble against your balls when you're getting your dick sucked? <laughs> it feels great. I see you like ordering Domino's chicken. 
<laughs> I rubbed my it's dick like, in ah, it before. Go away. <laughs> this episode's gonna be like horrible stereotypes of Southern. Dude, no, this video is gonna get taken <laughs> offline. It's just because of Deliverance. If Deliverance <laughs> didn't exist, no one would think of Hillbilly Rape. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got a purdy mouth. Put that dee 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 And then you're like, ah. Danny, when, dude, were you there when we were talking to Danny about what it was like living in rural Virginia? I don't think so. I was like, what don't. was it? I was like, what was it like? And he was like, you ever see the movie Deliverance? And I was like, yeah. And Jake didn't know what we were talking about. And he was like, yeah, it was kind of like Deliverance. <laughs> There's a lot of people talking like, hey man, hey man. And I'm like, hey man, you want to go down the curtain? <laughs> and then Danny's like, and you know Danny's got the California thing going on. So he's like, oh, I don't understand, bro. He's like, oh, dude. <laughs> The guy's like, hey, you want to go wrestle the pig? And then he's like, oh. <laughs> like, we don't grease him up just to lube with an anus. Too far. Too no, far. it's just never too far. It's the fucking south. What do you squeal, want? Squeal, piggy, squeal. I like hearing you onk like a pig. I've never seen the movie. Uh, it's a really, really, really good movie. Everyone talks about that one rape scene, but, like, the movie's actually, like, fucking awesome. I can't do rape scenes. They just, especially if you're seeing I spit on your grave. Yeah? <laughs> that fucking scene, dude. Dude, uh, watch um, Irreversible if you're not into rape. I'm good. Irreversible <laughs> is this chick's walking home from a party and she gets raped. And that's the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 90 minutes long and you're like, is it over? <laughs> <laughs> the one movie Chris was uncomfortable watching. That and Serbian film really fucked me up. Serbian film is, some guy was like, I want to make a snuff film. And they're like, that's illegal. And he was like, well, I'll make a fake snuff film then. And they're like, okay. And then he made a real snuff film. Where he like, there's a scene where they're like stomping a like baby to death. And it's just like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so like two guys, one hammer. It's uh, a, yeah, oh yeah. wait, is it two guys, one hammer or two guys, one screwdriver? Uh, I think it's screwdriver. Yeah. Over the, <laughs> yeah. And the guy, guy. So yeah, was Dude, early YouTube was watching us. Early YouTube early was YouTube fucked was up. Because it would just yeah. be, you'd just wind up watching murders. It was the Wild West. You could get away with that shit. I fucking miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Two girls, one cup? The good, the bad, you know? It was the Wild West. You're allowed to post whatever you want. Sometimes you saw murder, but sometimes you saw cool shit. Yeah, like this guy. Now YouTube is so <laughs> fucking cucked, you can't say the right... Th if you say the wrong word, we'll demonetize you. Like us. It's because <laughs> they're trying to keep all their advertiser money. Like, your mom's house right now is like... They've been flagged three... They're a fucking million viewer podcast, right? And they keep getting flagged because they keep finding clips on e -fucked and Heavy R and playing them on their show, but they censor them. Look, but, it doesn't matter how you censor those, they're still bad. But, like, they don't even show you the clip they're but watching. But they're you still just, bad. You hear the audio, and they're just like, ugh, because they've never seen porn like that. You know, me, I'm like, I remember that video. You know? Like, <laughs> but, uh. Same with any video about, like, any video that talks positively about the police gets flagged and demonetized and shit, and it's like, there's an obvious agenda going on with YouTube, and mm -hmm. I don't like it. That's my statement. Yeah. But YouTube. I'm not saying, yeah. I'm not saying the, <laughs> love the police, I'm not saying do anything fucking crazy and radical, how about we all just try to get along for a year? Dude, we've been trying. There's these people who have a lot of money. It's called the government. Well, uh, it's called the deep state. Called George Soros and other the Koch brothers and the Bagadobs and all these fucking Billy trillionaire families that control everything from the fucking background, influence politicians, start wars. They're evil. <laughs> Some people call them the Illuminati, but now it's just like it's the oh, Bilderberg God. Group. It's called the Bilderberg Group. Dude, the, 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 that's that's this fucking communist over here. God, you know, because I know you would then fall into it and become a part of it. I stopped it. I didn't fucking keep talking to him. This one dude on Instagram was trying to like get me to join his little Illuminati club. What does that even mean? I don't know. It the means Illuminati exactly club? like he said. Hey guys, we all believe it's an actual website though, and everything. No, it's not. I mean, it is an actual website. He's on a watch. Chad's yeah, on a watch list. That's the way we're dude, putting it right now. I'm on a watch list. Um, well, you're on a watch list for half of the shit you've said on this podcast. Dan's threatening to blow my school up. I mean, look, every kid wants to blow their school up. Yeah, but I actually said it out loud and had a police investigation and all that stuff. Your dad was like, I have to fucking cover you now. No, my dad was like, go. And then the cop was like, wait, you're the same kid that said he was going to kill his teacher, right? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, you got to stop making jokes like that. And, and like, you're like, jokes? What are those? I was like, I know, officer, but waggity shaggity, you know? Like, <laughs> waggity shaggity, <laughs> big back one. This isn't the 90s anymore. You just can't say No, you, you can't just speak your mind anymore. 
Do you guys think comedy and everything's gonna come back, or you think it's gonna just... Well, Rogan moved to Texas, and he took Joey Diaz and two other unnamed comics with him. God, Joey Diaz living in Texas. They need to make that a reality show. I would watch show. that, oh, just yelling at Mexicans all day. <laughs> get the fuck over, get the fuck back over the fence, cocksucker. He's just walking around the street smoking weed, and all the Texans are like, Hey, man, you can't do that around here. Where's my cooler? It's all over uh, there. I mean, God. <laughs> <laughs> so for trash. Did you see like all the emotions? Yeah, I saw. Right I saw like the seven layers of, of grief. And it was all the same sound, but it was three different: <laughs> anger, disgust, and then acceptance. acceptance. <laughs> Do you think him moving to Texas is gonna like kind of slow no. a showdown? No, 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 no. Because no, no, I mean, if you follow him on Instagram, he's already building his new podcast setup and everything. And Texas is more in the center of the country, so that means more East Coast guys can start coming on his show. And I think he's on like the outskirts. He said he went. He moved outside of Dallas. He will not say where. Austin. Which is very smart. Yeah. Or, excuse me. Yeah, Austin, not Dallas. Right? Austin's the shitty one full of liberals. Austin's the one that's not as crazy South <sighs> redneck. Dude, it's fucking crazy. I've been there. I saw a man that was tattooed to look like a lizard. Yeah, I know. That's, a, that's on Ripley's Believe It or Not. I know, but I saw him. I I've, that's I've weird. On TV, man. <laughs> that's not a good thing either. It was like 101 out, and I was dressed like this, but I wasn't sweating or hot. And I was like, what is this magic this place? This is not, <laughs> not fucking humid at all. It's I like, know, oh, there dude, was no humidity. Going to Vegas? It's great. I, I, you get a nose I, had, I had my flannel on, and then I was like, you know, I'm a little warm for the flannel. I was expecting to like sweat <laughs> balls, but I was just comfy. And then I saw Jay Mascus, Dinosaur Jr., walk across the street. Oh, God. And I went, you're Jay Mascus. And he went, yes. And then just kept walking. I was like, ah. It's it's nice when you can like talk to celebrities and you're just like I know you and they're like yes you know you but made their like, day because you're not like ah yeah you. he was probably so happy you like you didn't chase him yeah oh, I mean I wouldn't and it's yeah. Jay he's not a big enough celebrity to chase if it was Buzzo I would have been like Buzz Buzz you know like, hey let me annoy you acknowledge me please listen I know I'm thirty but you can adopt me I swear to God I'll be a good boy. You just like, let me be your prince. <laughs> just take me on the road with you. I'll be the worst roadie, I promise. But the best roadhead you've ever got. Did you ever see? The, did you ever see the interview? So, like, the Melvins inspired Nirvana, right? Mm -hmm. So these people are inter after Kurt died, they were interviewing uh, King Buzz and Dale Crover, being like, "So, uh, Kurt was your roadie. Uh, what was it like? Did you know he was going to be famous coming up? And like, they're supposed to do like, oh yeah, he was a great guy, whatever." And Buzz goes, "Worst roadie ever. Worst roadie ever. Worst." The worst. Couldn't carry anything. Scrawny. Annoying. Terrible musician. And he's just like railing. And you can tell it's all a joke, but the reporter's like... It's like you're talking about a dead man, and he's just like, look, he'd be laughing he if he were here. He couldn't even carry the cables. And then like the segment ends. Did you listen to the interview with him talking about how like him and Dave Grohl aren't friends anymore? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Are they Dave, not? Well, Dave Grohl... They used to be friends, but then Dave Grohl... No, Grohl it's all, it's all fake. The thing was, Buzzo invited Dave Grohl to a Dodgers game, and Dave Grohl said, sorry, I have to go on tour. So Buzzo's like, oh, what, are you too big for me now? And it's like, Buzzo tours 11 months out of the year. <laughs> so it's just like, come on. Like, it's just, probably Dave's, like, it was, one time ago. It's, it's the acoustic set where he's standing in the center of the crowd, just being like, and then Dave Grohl, and everyone's, like, laughing, and it's, <laughs> they're all buddies, you know? Yeah. That's Seattle sound. Because someone I was listening to, he was talking about how, like, Oh, I haven't seen him in years, and I gave him my number, and I texted him, and he didn't answer me for a long time. Do you ever see the Dave Grohl thing, Fresh Pots? Oh my god. Where they're talking about making a Foo Fighters album, and like it's like the bass player, and the drummer, and the other guitarist, and they're like, yeah, it's really great working with Dave, you know, we all get to do our own input and stuff like that, and then Dave comes in the room and he goes, Fresh Pot! And they all get up, and they start making him coffee, and then it cuts to him like drumming as fast as he can, and then playing the guitar as fast as he can, and then he stops and goes, Fresh pot! And then they run and bring a coffee and he starts playing again. Oh, and they're like, we just like love being old Foo Fighters. You Dave Grohl is a fucking gem. He's, He's awesome. You know what's really upsetting though? I listened to his, like, the first three albums the other day. And I listened to, like, the new ones. And it's just stadium rock. Dude, the once, most, like, keep in stuff. mind, he's like in his 50s. No, I know. That's... So it's like, I'm done. Well, yeah, just like, I have to pay bills. It's like when, like, they came out with the EP, like, Congregation, I think it was called. That one was decent. I never really got into the Foo Fighters. They're, all, the they're like three, three good songs. It, it was like wow. pop punk, kind of. And I was just not into it. The first three the CDs. Past, the no, past, the first three the CDs. Past, no, the that was the fourth girl. CD. I yeah, that's where it... Or the fifth CD. But the first three CDs are amazing. 
Chad, thumbs up. That's not a big thumbs up. I'll thumbs it up because I like Dave. I still like Aerosmith. Oof. I fucking hate Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Anytime I see, what's his name? Something Tyler. Steve Tyler. Steve Tyler. Tyler. It's like, ah. His daughter's got like yeah, the same. Same thing. And it's like, dude, you remember, like, anytime her character yeah, shows up. She's hot, though. Not know, really. She's, not. she's the ugliest chick in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> Her and, uh, Pippin is definitely the hottest woman in there. <laughs> Dude, Kate Blanchett playing Galadriel. Yeah. It's like, I can, yeah, I can kind of do that. It's super hot. Kate Blanchett is hella, hella hot. Yeah. Kate Blanchett <laughs> in House of Cards. Because they were making her look like a... They, she ruined the show. Wasn't Are you sure it wasn't Kevin Spacey? <laughs> no, because... Being a child fucking, I fucking miss separate, Kevin Spacey. Yeah, really. I, I miss Spacey too. Like... I never watched him in any movie. Yeah, but watch House of Cards, watch Usual Su- Suspects, and then watch the one where he gets turned into a cat. I'm kidding about the last one. Don't watch that. <laughs> I don't oh know. my god. Nine Lives or whatever. Yeah. That was the I'm a cat! That like was Kevin. the old Kevin. No, but Kevin Spacey, like, wasn't it, like, the thing he did? Pay It Forward? He was in Pay It Forward? Yeah, but didn't um, he, like, just go to a bar and then the kid ended He up hit on a kid, age. and the kid turned out to be underage. But the kid was at the bar drinking. Yeah, so the kid had a fake ID, and then Spacey was like, you want to suck my dick? And then the kid was like, I'm 16, and Spacey was like, peace. And then 10 years later, the kid comes out and said Spacey raped him, but and then the kid kills himself, so it's yeah. like, I don't really... Well, that's how they got away with not being able to charge him fully, but charge well, that's him. that's why there's a big conspiracy, Kevin Spacey had him killed. Because he did that thing where Frank, where he was like, kill him with kindness. And if you know <laughs> Frank, the character in House of Cards, he totally would... In the show, he kills someone and makes it look like a suicide, you know? <laughs> so it's like... Are you? <laughs> like, I did it in the show. I really don't think they would think I'd do it in real life. So He does it to the guy who played Yellow Jacket in that second Ant-Man movie. That guy's awesome. Yeah, yeah but he's also worse set for life, so who cares? Yeah, it's just... Kevin Spacey is definitely set. You've never seen Usual Suspects. It's fucking amazing. I don't really watch too much I TV. I understand. Even, I understand, but do it. <laughs> yeah. Even, uh, <laughs> he was probably the best part in uh, Baby Driver. Yeah, when you think he's going to betray him, he comes down with a 12 yeah. gauge and like fights for him. That scene was awesome. And his Lex Luthor would have been really good. His Lex Luthor would have been great. His Lex Luthor was just a. a but that movie hack. was also made by a diddler. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, wait, wait, wait. That was a confirmed diddler. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you saying Hollywood is a lot of pedophiles? <laughs> Who would have thought? Wait, didn't about 10 years ago one Christian warrior, Mel Gibson, tell us Hollywood was full of pedophiles? <laughs> yeah, but didn't he also go on another crazy fucking rant about a whole lot of other crazy yeah, shit? Yeah, and then he got kicked out of and Hollywood. And Chris's head, he's like, if he was right about the t- <laughs> right. He was right about everything else. Because, <laughs> like, he called it out. He was like, Hollywood's full of, full of pedophiles. And then 10 years later, oh my god, all these pedophiles are in Hollywood. Yeah, but everyone knew Harvey Weinstein was a cop. Harvey Weinstein. But they were still like, he, we were in a war with him. Tom Hanks just got citizen, uh, a Greek citizen. Citizenship, and he and like everyone's calling him a pedophile. What? Yeah. I don't think Tom Hanks would be but a toucher. It, uh, why is he get like? Is Greek gonna like? Is Greece gonna? What's the word? Asylum him? No. Greek. Uh, Greece doesn't normally do. Wait, doesn't why do would he get Greek period. citizenship? Because it, it's a collapsed it's like, society where if you bring any amount of money into it, you literally it. own it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just like Polanski with Italy. Like, Polanski raped a girl in a jacuzzi. Italy, uh, the United States went, we're going to murder you for this. And then Italy went, we won't. So he went to Italy. Yeah, that's because Italy was still like, well, We love know, the movies. World War II, Rose- it was a bad time, but we were still part of the Axis. Rosemary's Baby, bro. And then he's like, I know, right? It was so good. Was it? I liked it a lot. It I like Sophie's sl- Choice. It was a slow burn. <laughs> you need to, like, watch that movie and not... Be antsy. Uh, do you know how long it took me to watch Waterworld? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're gonna get it out of the way right now. <laughs> Waterworld was fucking. It's a bad movie, but it's like we'll talk about it more in a future thing. But it took yeah. me like five hours. I kept pausing it and walking away. Did you watch the three-hour version or the yeah. two-hour and fifteen-minute? I kept. I watched the two-hour fifteen standard right. theatrical release. Yeah, and I kept finding excuses. I'd be like, "Do I gotta pee?" That's because you can. I gotta pee, and then I'd like right, pause save it. it. It's not that good. Of a <laughs> anyway, movie. yeah. It's Mad Max, but with boats. Um, it's what Mad, with Mad Max, Max, but worse. Do you think yeah. the U.S. will ever split? Uh, balkanized? I don't think so, only because we watched the balkanization of the Balkans. <laughs> okay. Is that a Star Trek reference? No, the Balkans. The Balkans is a region. <laughs> it's like Macedonia, um, Armenia, Jordan, or Georgia, uh, Croatia. Because... 
uh, Bosnia, Herzegovina. It's a bunch of weird, hard words. Just don't we have California's trying to split? Which I can't. California could leave in a heartbeat, and it would fuck America. Nah, well, uh, 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 until it's well, until it falls on, in the ocean. Hollywood's planning on going to China. Yeah, so. Hollywood is like dead set on going yeah, to China. Fine. But, no, it's gonna fuck us. Who gives no, a it shit? isn't. All it's, the Hollywood money. No, they're gonna go over there and be like, "Yay, creative freedom! We yeah. don't have to worry about America." Yeah, and, and then China's gonna, gonna China. be like, "Yeah, creative yeah. Chinese freedom." It's like you want to make movies. Guess what? They have to be out about Xi Jinping, and they have to be fucking real. <laughs> China can never be the bad guy. It's like, well, there go all your movies. We want Scarlett Johansson to play every Chinese character. Every Chinese character. <laughs> hey, let's do a movie about the Great Wall starring Matt Damon. <laughs> let's do a movie movie and it includes the Great Wall. I know Matt Damon was in it, but The Last Samurai is a great movie. It's it's, oh, yeah, uh, wait, I, wait, hold on. Where the fuck does Last Samurai come out of China? It's white, because think about it. The Great Wall movie is about a white guy saving Chinese people. Some people think Last Samurai is about a white guy saving Japanese people. But people don't know that the plural of samurai is samurai. So the movie is about the last samurai. Like the group of the them. The group of them. And the one white outcast and, who was a part and, of it. And he's just a stick. Uh, what do they call it? Into it man. What do they call it? Framing device. He's just a framing device for us, the people who aren't in that culture, to understand that culture. Imagine seeing a 5'6 man in full samurai armor just destroying people. It would be fucking gnarly. <laughs> wow, it sounds like feudal Japan. Yeah, it sounds like 18th century Japan. Are Japan, are Japanese a little taller than... No. No. Uh, I thought they were like... I think the tallest... I say this without saying again. Tallest of the They're Asians. Sound like no, 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 you're not. You can't. Like Because I thought Japan was more of like... It's an island nation, They right? look more... I guess you could say European. No, Asian. they all look no, Asian. They look... They look Asian. No, they're, well, okay. They're less... To quote Bobby Lee... Who is That's Korean? Asian. Yeah. He says there are three types of Asian people jungle Asians, mountain Asians, and sea Asians. The Japanese are a weird mix of mountain ja- and sea. They're the sea Asians along with the Koreans. Well, no, also mountain, because literally. But you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Koreans and Japanese kind of look similar. Then you have the Chinese, they're the mountain Asians, because I think 90% of China is mountain. And then yeah. the Mongolians, I guess you could consider them. Goddamn Mongolians. And then the Tartar people of Russia, but they got wiped out, I Oh yeah, they were obliterated by uh, Russia. By the Russian, yeah, by the Western Russians. And then you get the jungle Asians, which is like Cambodia and Vietnam, uh, Laos. The ones that are trying to leave China's grip. The, but the that's darker one. It's basically how close you are to the equator yeah. and uh, how far removed you are from Central Asia. Like, India is considered Asians. Indians are considered Asians. Yeah. It's fucking bananas. But it's because they're so far, like, I would southwest. I think Russia's considered an Asian. Yeah. Yeah, but that that's an entirely different fuck. Russia gets fuck. its own thing. Yeah. <laughs> Russia's its own. Russia's like, we're not European or Asian. Quite uh, they tried. They built, like, European buildings, but then they put their little, like... Asian uh, tops on yeah. it. What's called? Like, the, fuck the buildings? A top. Well, the Kremlin is the famous one. Yeah. Um, the actual... Ag- a like, top. It's an upside-down top, Chad. Just agree with me. I'm try- I don't remember the word, but I know yeah. what you're getting at. Yeah. Russia's cool. If I could... If I could travel the world with like, uh, like without being pulled aside or arrested with Vin Dude. Diesel from the Fast and Furious movies, <laughs> no, you want Vin that Diesel? way I know I'm No, you want Vin Diesel from the Triple X movie because then you go to Russia and you go see Ramstein. Or was that in Germany? I think it was in Germany. Ramstein's German. Yeah, but they no, I Russia. think they were in Russia. Did you see that Ramstein video that came out? I think a year ago. I don't like Ramstein. I don't like Ramstein either. But someone was like, "Yo, you gotta watch this music video. Watch it with the sound off." And I watched <laughs> it with the sound off, and I was like, "Oh, yo." This is, like, visually, really, it's just the history of Germany. So, like, when they get to the Nazi stuff, the Nazi's, like, a black lady with a huge afro and, like, skin-tight latex, like, just killing Jews, and you're like, whoa! And then it, like, cuts to modern Germany, and everyone's all, like, PC and lame and shit. It's, like, starts with the Vikings, and then goes to the Nazis, and then goes to, like, modern Germany. And I don't know what the song's about, because I didn't listen to it. (laughs) But I was watching the story and I was like, damn, Ramstein, I don't know what you're trying to say. You're also like, the band that goes on stage with like giant poles with dildos on them, shoving them up the singer's ass or something stupid. Look, yeah. he's into it, fuck it. Oh. Do. Do Hoski. I remember when that song got famous. I'm like, this song is not good. I remember doing like famous. jogging the gym in high school, listening to that and being like, I think I'm going to start skipping gym. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. I fucking love gym. 
No. I hated every second of it. The only thing I hated about gym was the dancing thing. Did you have friends in your gym class? Yeah. I never had a gym class with friends. Well, I was sick of that. No, I had <laughs> friends in school. I just never had a gym class with my friends. Well, I just it just I was, worked out. I was way. kind of friends with like I was acquaintances with a lot of people. I was acquaintances with a lot of people. But too. I, I guess I had like one or two kids that were in my gym. I class. never had someone that I hung out with outside of school in any of my gym I classes. I did go through the phase where I was like Jim's stupid, even though I'm like, damn, I'm so competitive, I just want to go play that stupid bocce ball game. Oh, Gator Ball. Gator Ball. It's I just, it's Gator just ball. handball. It's handball, but you can kick it. Yeah, you're allowed to kick it. <laughs> you're like throw a ball against the wall if you want to carry it. I See, I went through that weird part of, like, transitions between generations where I was viciously and horribly attacked for being overweight in middle school when we had gym. Then it went to high school, and, like, it calmed down, but See, I was like, I'm still fucking scarred. The Thanks. thing about me is, I'm fat, I was fat, obviously. But Chad, school. okay. But I I was athletic fat, so I would do, like, the athletic stuff, and all the skinny guys would be like, yo, I want him on my team. The short, being short and fat, I think, is better than being tall and Dude, fat. Yeah. Because tall and fat, you're like, absolute unit, I bet he's tough, and it's like, no, I'm just... Big fat yeah, guy I'm, I'm literally just like I just want hugs then, and food. Then the short fat guy, they're like, oh, I can pick on him. Now people who are short, we can speak to this, get something called a Napoleon complex. I do not Even though Napoleon was like decent height, he was, he was my height. height. Yeah, he was our height. I don't have a Napoleon complex. I don't you, think. Did yeah, you did when you were younger. No, I read it. I was always. You passing. never fought kids because they called you short. No, I just like, fuck you. No, see, I get into fist fights. Yeah. You fucking call me short. Boom. And, and just, yeah, but the thing was, I was the tallest kid up until probably. Oh, uh, see, I was always the smallest grade. up until eighth, ninth grade. I was always tall. But I was, like, I was my height. So the short fat kids, people look at him and they go, "Well, he's short, so and they have to fight him." Up. And he's fat, so he's probably can hit hard. You stay away from the short fat one because he's probably crazy and durable. Whereas the tall fat one probably beat me up so I should fight it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I have a lower center of gravity, so I feel like I can like Chad's center of gravity is at his ankles. <laughs> it's like a weevil wobble. I don't have a center of gravity. I have a, a complete off balance to light. <laughs> Dude, I am horrible with balance. Yeah. It's did you play any sports when you were a kid? Uh no, because when I did I got really violent with it. No. You should have played hockey. I would have if I had any fucking you would've, coordination. You would've no, you would have if we had money. I couldn't play hockey. Cause you would have been, been you would have been the like the bruiser. You would have been yeah. the guy that they're like, ah, shit, we're down by a point. Get fucking Chris in there. It's like go fight the kid who's scoring. See that guy that keeps scoring. Go break Knock him the fuck out, and then you just wouldn't even go for the puck. You would just like wait. If he's just like, hey, friend, and I'm like, I'm gonna kill you. <gasps> Dude, there's an awesome documentary about the, this guy who was like this amazing hockey player, but he was also the brawler. So like, he would start like in the op- you know the opening thing where they all square off, and they'd say like if if the guy on the other team was telling a story, he was like, yeah, you know, I looked down at the puck and I looked up and he was staring at me, <laughs> and he wasn't blinking, <laughs> and I just skated the other direction. <laughs> you brought her back down here. That's and, that's, that's, that's your fault. That's what more... the goon's based on. Too. Yeah, the goon is based yeah. on that guy's life. Wait, the goonies? No, no, no the goon. I, 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 Sean Wait. William Scott. I can't believe you don't like Sean William Scott. Cause He's not a good actor. What did he do to disappear? Because he was in everything. Who did he wrong? I just think he got tired of acting. I honestly. heard a story that he refused to engage in homosexual activities with an exec. And because of that, he got blacklisted. It was like uh, George of the Jungle, the guy from the Mummy movies. Yeah. The reason he disappeared is because someone like tried to touch him, and he was like, I'm not comfortable with this. And they were like, blacklisted. There was that, and there was also his wife left him and took all his money. It, it, his high school sweetheart. She left him and took all his money. Too. Yeah, after the whole, he hey. Signed, no, I know. It was just like a continuous shit show. He signed a prenup that was not and his smart. Favorite. But be- the dude, he's, it's his high school sweetheart. And then as soon as the signature, before the ink could even dry, she was divorcing him and taking all this money. Women are evil. Dude, if they made a new mummy movie with him, I would be so happy. Yeah. If, um, nah, he kind of lost his marbles. I like he's, him. He's back now. He's, he's in that Doom Patrol show, doing really well. He's actually doing a lot of indie movies and stuff. He, Doom Patrol sucks, That's though. That's the only place he can get movies. I wish Doom Patrol was better. Very fucked him. Yeah. Doom Patrol is what X or X Men is based on Doom Patrol. Really? Yeah. Doom Patrol came out first by I think a year or two, and it's the same concept. Man in a wheelchair helps outcasts of society become superheroes, and then Marvel went, "Let's do it, but make it teenagers." Sammy's <laughs> like, "I have an idea." 
<laughs> hey, <laughs> see? <laughs> totally original. I was walking down the block, you see. I'm going to steal your idea now. I saw this thing called the, uh, I don't know, what did they call them? The Doom, Doom Patrol. Patrol. Uh, by the way, Doom's a bad word. Hey, Jack. I <laughs> thought of a totally original story. Jack Kirby. Draw this up, my friend. <laughs> Draw this. I'm going to go fuck your wife and try and steal <laughs> all your intellectual property. And succeed. Can we say this, though? <laughs> fuck Stan Lee. I'm glad he's fuck dead. Fuck who? Well, fuck Stan Lee. No, I'm fuck, glad I'm having he's a brain, dead. I'm having a brain fart. It wasn't Jack Kirby. Who originally drew Spider-Man? Jack Kirby. Dicko. Yeah. The original concept for Spider-Man was fucking god-awful. Yeah, thank God Stan Lee came and punched it up. Or did he? Maybe Stan Lee came up with the original idea. No, see, Dicko... Stanley came up with the idea, but the idea for the didn't Spider-Man he use a web gun? And, he, and the so costume was like Batman. Also, uh, uh, Bob Kane's no, yeah, Bob, that's DC. Bob Kane I'm just stole saying. the idea of the when Bob Kane wrote Batman, it was fucking garbage. No, but who's the artist's name? No, he's, I always he's forget, credited now. He's credited now, but but for the like original Batman years, costume Bob Kane was, was going too. around saying it was just me. It was just. Frank Miller beat Bob Kane up in an elevator. In an elevator, yeah. Yeah. Deservedly so. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Bob Kane. I, that story's funny, too, because, like, Frank Miller, like... If you I know what he looks like, he's me, but just older and wrinklier. So he didn't like, exactly know it was him at first. But and then... they started talking. So the elevator door opened, and he just turned around and punched him in the face. So he's standing <laughs> in an elevator with a guy, and they're just talking about comics, and then Bob Kane goes, you know I invented Batman, and because Frank Miller, like, knows everything about comics, he's like... Oh yeah, it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's I don't remember you now. <laughs> Boom! Do you think Frank Miller wrote Batman? Uh, no. I think he he put a shitty twist on it. He didn't put a shitty. He did his own thing and he created his own Millerverse, and that's that's comics. That's just. Oh, I agree. I don't think All Star Batman was that bad. It wasn't that good? I like that kind of Batman though. He's sitting in the Batmobile being like, "Fuck it, just kidnap this kid." Blah, blah, blah. I hate. I'm the goddamn Batman. That's where I was like. Ugh. That's Batman trying to like. Be bat- and it's like, no, stop. And then they're like, the they new- talk about that awesome scene from year one where he puts the candle out and he's like, yo, I'm fucking coming for you or whatever. And then I think an all-star Robin was like, oh my God, weren't you scared? And then Bruce goes, I pissed myself. And it's like, I don't want to hear that Batman pissed yeah, himself. That's, that's giving Frank- the coolest speech he's ever given. That's the problem with uh, Frank, Frank Miller. Miller. He I- tries to real is i like new batman where he's eating a hamburger with a fork and knife and that is the best part of that <sighs> i like new batman where superman is forcing him to smile and you can tell batman's doing everything in his fucking power to frown right now but superman, <laughs> superman's just like too happy. strong he broke my face <laughs> yeah. or the the one where maxwell lord this is old super uh, batman and superman where maxwell lord takes over superman's mind and he fights batman and you see batman in the hospital and he has like fingerprint bruises from Superman just grabbing his face and his fingerprints left bruises. I didn't... I recently... You know Sandman? The comic? Yeah, from Spider-Man. No, no. no the this DC is DC Oh. Uh, Neil Gaiman wrote it. It's really good. It's really good. He plays like the Lord of Sleep yeah. and all mm-hmm. that stuff. Like He's the Lord of Sleep dreams. He's the Sandman. Okay. But it's so... There's this one part in it where they're talking about like trying to because it's set, actually set in the dc universe so they're like what about batman and the guy is like oh no he's probably working right now it's 3 a.m <laughs> like that i love those little throwaway lines like that but then they go get constantine and that was constantine not like souped up with magic to constantine. yeah it's like uh i love new constantine how they're doing him now yeah mm-hmm. yeah constantine magic never magic users in like comics never really did it for me i like how they do it with him though Cause he's like so, he's like very cocky. But when they write him, he's like kind of like shit. I hope this works. Did you thing. see uh, Constantine when they did the big DC CW crossover? I love that guy. Oh, uh, was that Lucifer? Right? Uh, yeah. yeah, and he shows up. Really, Constantine goes to talk yeah. to Lucifer to be like that. Constantine was fucking awesome. Yeah, Matt Ryan's the best. Like, yeah. if they ever yeah, make, they canceled it. <laughs> well, now he's in. Uh... Well, it's because no one knew. Like no one knew. Well, no. The, the main Academy... problem with. That show is they filmed it or they showed it out of order of the filming. They did that with Rick and Morty in that work. They also did that yeah, with but, uh, no, but, Firefly. No, but with Not Con- it, Firefly. No, but with Constantine. Bigger tragedy than Firefly. That show would have been um. Dude, Firefly's dope. No, you watch it in order. It's great. With Constantine, like the f- episode you go, the girl would come in, the guy would come in. Next episode, the girl wouldn't even be there. They yeah. wouldn't even mention her or anything. It's called continuity. Yeah. But uh, and Firefly. You want to know what I? What was the Firefly movie? Serenity. I saw Serenity before I saw the show, so and I, I saw the which, sh- 
Yeah. And I remember seeing Serenity being like, is this what everyone keeps talking about? Why? Firefly, to me, is just like Cowboy Bebop. Why do you just like, so a series of events. Yeah. Uh-huh. Dude, you know Dennis Reynolds? That's how I talk, motherfucker! Do you know Dennis Reynolds is in Serenity? Is it? Fuck. When they're escaping the first, like, southern town, and they're on the hover speeder thing, and that one town patron who jumps on him is like, no, you can't leave me with the Reavers or oh, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Dennis. Nice. Yeah. I saw that, and I was like, ha! Huh, he's gonna tell the gang about this later. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for the news. Always sunny. It's, they're gonna base it on the coronavirus and everything going on right now. So you know it's just probably gonna I get, haven't like, seen Sunny in... I'm like five seasons. Before. I tried to watch the first episode, and then it was it, because of how early it was. It's racist. Yeah, and how cringy it was. <laughs> my body was just like, wow. You need to watch it. They no, I know. So good. We're going to have afters. And then everyone's like, Charlie. <laughs> no, he said, wow, Charlie, way to be a racist. <laughs> and it's just, or what? I can't. It's not even working. I got a timestamp. That to bleep that out. Why? No, you don't. Just be it's an adult and watch it. What the fuck's wrong with you? It's from an episode. <laughs> Charlie says, because the... It's the, just so it doesn't get pulled The out. black guy says he's going to get all these people into the bar. It's going to be so full, you're going to have... Oh. So then Charlie... You have to watch it. Charlie goes to say it to the waitress, and she gets offended. But the better racist joke is when... Mac and Charlie go to hang out with the black people and like Charlie's playing dominoes and and every and they're just like getting along and awesome and then and then one guy goes that was a good game my brother and he like high fives Charlie and he goes and then Mac goes you mean like brother like black people brother not real brother right and then the guy goes and like you fucked it up and then later they call back to that joke where the black guy's sister is in the bar and he goes, hey everyone, this is my sister. And then Mac goes, yeah, because you're related to her. It's not just a black thing this time. And, and then like, everyone's oh, just like, oh. God damn, like Old Sonny was so good. I think it stayed good. It stayed good, but like... This is one episode. There's a different The cruise already. ship episode was shitty. The The wedding episode between the McPoyles was shitty. Uh, I saw that one. Yeah, exactly. Like, the rum ham. Rum ham was a little annoying. <laughs> that was good. No, the fight milk. The crack fight milk was great. But fight milk! Crack episode. Egg. <laughs> <laughs> Four bodyguards, five bodyguards. Or when, uh, when, when uh, Mac is eating like a bag full of burritos, and Dennis is like, so you've just given up? And he's like, yeah, I gave up completely. It's awesome. You can do whatever you want. What do you want to do, Dennis? And he goes, crack. I want to do crack. Like, call back to that episode. <laughs> like, three seasons prior. They're that was still, a rough episode watching that one. They're still addicted to crack. Watch Shameless. Shameless? Uh, I used yeah. to watch it with... Patty likes it a lot. It's, it's for chicks. Yeah. I watched... Maybe, <laughs> oh, what's his name, though? The, uh, William H. Macy. Yeah. like he's, he, he's a phenomenal fucking actor in that. And you get to see what's-her-face's titties every so often? First no. No. Once you see your tits, oh, a few times. Uh, I've only There's seen like three. Well, I only saw them once. Yeah, it's everyone else's titties you really want to watch. Yeah, yeah but the, I'm it cool. just makes me re- remember Dragon Ball Evolution. All right, look, not it, everything has to do. With does it matter? <laughs> Emmy Rosenbaum. Is, life. Emmy Rosenbaum is a genuinely funny actress. Dude, I love that Big Bang Theory T-shirt. Um, I was wearing a Dragon Ball Z shirt earlier. Yeah, you should have kept it on. Do you guys spit up on it? Do you guys know that Anya? Something Joy chick from do that blank stare I got out of you. I uh, knew I'd get that. No, because I thought about this last night because I just happened to see a photo of her and I was like, oh my god, you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. And I was like, I've seen movies with her. Okay. And uh, yeah, she's in this movie what where she. Is she in? I can't remember. <laughs> Anya A N Y A. I've seen movies with her in them, but I can't remember what they were. Yeah, Taylor she... Joy. Yeah, I was like, this chick. Uh, no. Yeah. No. Make it bigger? Yeah. So. Oh, no, she's not yeah. that attractive. Uh, wait, no. Wait. Like, this photo is not bad, but, like, the rest of these are, like, I can't tell if she's 12 or 25. That's the best. No. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. I don't know. I like classical looking women. I like classical women, too, but that's There's not, that's weird. one in particular that I saw. Her it's, eyebrows are also It's from the movie weird. Emma. From the movie Emma. Just her eyes are too far apart. It's kind of like the girl from Game of Thrones. A lot of people say she looks like an alien, and I'm okay with that. She's a reptilian. I am willing to splice my DNA with hers. Reptilian confirmed. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's the bedroom scene. Just type in what's her name bedroom scene. Yeah. Let's see if it shows up. 
Uh, What's I guess it only exists on 4chan. Probably. Just type in boobs. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> she's wearing, she's wearing, she's wearing this like see-through nightgown, but she's backlit by the window, so you can't actually see anything. You just see her frame, and it's like, yo, you might have the best body in Hollywood. That. What this one? Yes. Man, it's in like the Look at that. shittiest quality. I know, but. Ah, come on! I love the rest of this one. Oh right yeah, here. it's all celebrity porn. <laughs> <laughs> like fake celebrity porn too. Uh, like, get off that before we get viruses on my new. Dude, computer. that's not how you Chad, get viruses. I work in <laughs> IT. Shut the fuck up. Quit you went on the wrong website. <laughs> oh, I can get you a virus Quit. that'll ruin your entire internet for the you next three months. You gotta delete the music off the iTunes. <clears throat> it's giving the computer a virus. If you're on LimeWire, so, then you're fucked. Anyway, their share. What cryptid? Oh, is she was favorite? in The Witch. Yeah, no, she's the main character in The Witch. Yeah. What do you go? Are you going on Fortan? Oh, Fortan gives viruses. No, it doesn't. Time. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Wait, shut up! What are you looking for? All right, dude. I yeah. usually go to te television and film because it's a blue board. Oh, wait, where? Interest. Oh my god. It's a blue board, so it's not going to be porn. Hopefully. Obsession. And then you click catalog. Dude, Golden Girl. <laughs> See, we're just <laughs> awesome. We talk about Golden Girls. Boom. There. Oh, she's an attractive lady. This is where I spend most of my day. Dude, Sarah Michelle Geller was Still not, not... Yeah, she wasn't a bad-looking girl. Buffy was an okay show. Mm. Mm. I spent, like, I spent, yeah, the ending was pretty shitty, but like the rest of it wasn't bad. And, and then they made Angel, and Angel was a dumpster fire. Angel was terrible. Yeah. Oh. I found Chad from his childhood. I, what do you think? <laughs> oh, okay. no. That's from the Thoreau documentary about autism. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, are those considered documentaries or just like TV spectacles? Spectacles. Do you see the one where he goes and meets the uh, African Zionists who like claim every person in history was black no matter what? She's not bad looking. Who is it? I don't know. I don't, I don't care. Know. Classic babe thread? Lolita? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> you don't know about Lolita? Nah. Lolita's a movie about, and a book about a 13 year old girl who seduces a 40 year old man and the consequences of such a relationship. All right. Well, man, I don't like. Written in the 50s by a pro... It's actually considered one of the classic novels and one of the classic films because at first she seduces the guy, but then by the halfway point, she's in like high school and shit, and she finds a boyfriend, and uh, the guy she seduced turns more into a father figure, and then when she starts banging the other dude, he gets jealous, even though he never wanted the relationship in the first place, and then it's like the whole, like, am I a monster, but she seduced me kind of thing. It's well, a good book and a good movie. I don't fucking care. Speaking of classics, this has been Just Your Average Podcast. I'm so glad we avoided the cryptids thing. That's that, Chris. This is John Chris. Chris. I think we covered all Chad. the bases we normally care. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching. You're weirdly really like, really estranged, racist pieces. And... Uh, That's fine. I'm not racist. I'm right. <laughs>